and he has hope. He has hope that God can give him mercy. And he wants mercy. And he seeks God's mercy. I want to apologize for our delay. Sometimes there's unexpected things that happen here on Eden Hill. But we're still continuing with the Mass. Amen. 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 We're going to try to shorten the Mass so that you can get home at a reasonable time. And I promise you I will shorten this homily also. I won't give you all the details, all the quotes, everything. I, I received a letter last week, and I received more than one of these letters. And the letter was from a person who was an inmate, who was a prisoner. And he had a quote from St. Faustina at the beginning of the letter that said it really touched his heart. He said he was, you know, uh, of course a fallen away Catholic. He didn't go into detail of why he was in prison, but like Dismas, St. Dismas, the good thief on the cross, he says he deserves to be in prison for what he did. But he said he, he's reading parts of the diary and he has hope. He has hope that God can give him mercy. And he wants mercy. And he seeks God's mercy. And so he was asking us for more materials on divine mercy. Isn't that great? Yeah. This is why we have a feast of mercy and a jubilee year of mercy. That no matter where you're at, no matter maybe what mistakes you've made in your life, what wrong decisions, there's always hope in God's mercy. This is why Pope Francis has proclaimed this year as the Jubilee Year of Mercy. He wants people to come back. He wants people that maybe think that there's no mercy for them and that there is mercy. In different churches around the world there's, there are holy doors where you can pass through the heart of Christ into his mercy. We have a holy door here at the National Shrine, many of you may have passed through it already. Maybe you haven't. Maybe you can pass through a holy door in your diocese. There's indulgences attached to passing through the holy doors of mercy. Take advantage of the indulgences that God offers and passing through the holy doors of mercy. Even Pope Francis said, a prisoner can also see his jail cell every time he passes it as a holy door of mercy. He even consecrated a holy door in a homeless shelter to even give the homeless an opportunity to receive God's mercy. There is a quote I want to read to you. I think it's very re relevant to today. It's about pilgrimage. That's what the Pope says about pilgrimage. The practice of pilgrimage has a special place in the Holy Year because it represents the journey each of us makes in this life. Life itself is a pilgrimage, and the human being is a viator, a pilgrim traveling along the road, making his way to the desired destination. Similarly, to reach the Holy Door in Rome or in any other place in the world, everyone each according to his or her ability we have to make a pilgrimage. This will be a sign that mercy is also a goal to reach and requires dedication and sacrifice. And I really, when I look out here today, I see dedication and sacrifice. 
that we had good weather during the novena, and then all of a sudden the weather changed. And but now we're here back trying to give God the glory. Hopefully the skies will stay open until the end of the Mass. <laughs> Hopefully we won't have to evacuate again. But really, real dedication. This is what life is about. Sometimes the skies are nice and sunny, it's calm, and then in an instant it can change, and it gets cold and it gets rainy. And sometimes it's just unexpected. We just try to do the best that we can. The motto for this year is merciful like the Father. That God wants to transform us into images of divine mercy. Living images of divine mercy. And the Pope calls us to do little works of mercy. To go out to the poor, the sick, the distressed, the downtrodden, people that maybe they have lost hope in life, to go out and reach out to them with mercy. One act of love cancels a multitude of sins. And try to make it your goal to do one act of love or one act of mercy toward one person every day. That all, that's all it takes is just one one, one. You don't have to minister to every single person in the world. That would be physically impossible. But minister to one person. Reach out. I'd like to end the short homily with a quote from Pope Francis's Bull of Indiction on the Year of Mercy. We need constantly to contemplate the mystery of mercy. It is a wellspring of joy, serenity, and peace. Our salvation depends on it. Mercy, the word reveals the very mystery of the most holy trinity. Mercy, the ultimate and supreme act by which God comes to meet us. Mercy, the fundamental law that dwells in the heart of every person who looks sincerely into the eyes of his brothers and sisters on the path of life. Mercy, the bridge that connects God and man, opening our hearts to the hope of being loved forever despite our sinfulness.